Welcome back to Sarita's garden. All right, we've had some progress in the last week. I went back over to Naples and uh, some friends gave me some great uh, plantings, which I mentioned in my last video. Things are, I popped a few things in today and added a little more mulch and things are growing pretty well. This first banana here is finally sprouting out out of the top. This is the one of the few that's actually growing out of the original plant. All the others look uh, more dead and are bring, uh, sending up pups. And then in this section over here, kind of making a little island of plantings, of clusters of plantings, and I've got some sweet potato already in there, but I added a few more sweet potato. This is Beauregard variety that I saved um, from cuttings that I grew in this past year. Papaya, and then over here is the carambola star fruit. And then back here, you'll see the banana is uh, really putting out some strong pups. There's three now, two that you can see on this side, and the third one back here. Some beautiful leaves. And then back in here, I planted some napier grass <clears throat> cuttings that Kevin shared with me back in Naples. And I did that because when we first moved in, there was some pretty heavy winds coming from this direction. As you can see, we don't have anything planted on the north fence area yet to so this. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take for the grass to grow, but it will give a little wind protection to the banana. It's a little more delicate uh, with heavy winds. So that's fun, never grown that before. He taught me some safety protocols with that. Uh, don't touch it without gloves since it's got these fine hair-like projections that are very irritating to the skin. Then back in over here, papaya, pigeon pea, growing tall. You can see that guy is really popping up. And again, there's more sweet potato plantings in here where you see the flags. These are new ones that I just put in today. And then added, I seem to say it differently. I like to say plumbago, but everything I, everybody else I hear says plumbago. I'm not really sure, but this is great for the butterflies. And my friend Cindy in Naples showed me her. Uh, basically, she just kept separating the plant. She had one pot. She kept separating as it grew and grew it into a beautiful like circle. So she has a lot of butterflies that come to her. Um, oh, case in point. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've got some uh, Mabuno cow pea inside here. This little teeny guy. It's probably even hard to tell what's the what's the uh, plant but it's this one um, and what's a weed because I got a lot of weeds in there and then we've got some Okinawa spinach that I planted in the past week these were cuttings from Paul and Zena and I potted those up in Naples and brought them here just got them in the ground moringa papaya banana in the background that one hasn't done anything yet and then today I just planted a bunch of peanut butter fruit. I had two uh, pieces of it that I had in Naples last year from Cindy. And she gave me cuttings a year ago of that. And it didn't really do anything in Naples, but I discovered that the sprinkler head near it was not working. And so it really didn't get water except for in the summer. So it struggled. And then she gave me some more cuttings this week. So now I've got five plants in this one little bed section area of varying sizes. So hopefully at least one of those will take and grow. It's a fun fruit. I don't know the other name for it, but I'll look it up and I'll put it in the comments. All right, so that's the update for today, May 6th, 2023. Things are coming along quite nicely and it's filling in and uh, no big casualties yet. All right, see you next time on Sarita's Garden.